Good morning. <clears throat> I'm excited to paint. I was on vacation last week, so I didn't um, paint like much at all. I took all my stuff with me and I was hoping that I would have time to paint, but I think I needed the break more than I needed to paint, which I guess is good. Good morning. How are you guys? Good morning, Anita. How are you? Hi, Connie. Hi, Rosemary. I missed you guys too. I love our time together. Hi, Mary. <clears throat> Hi, Pam. Susie. So today I was asking if anyone had any suggestions of what I should paint the day. And um, my friend um, Allie suggested that I paint Good morning, Ellen. Um, the donkey that I visit almost every day when I go for a walk, his name is Frankie. So I'm gonna paint Frankie today. So how fun is that? Um, I still don't quite have my studio completely together, but it's getting there. Feels a little more like home here to me. Good morning, Dee. Hi, Sheila. So I was gonna show you too how I do, when I need to um, paint something, like if I do a commission of, of an animal or, or a person or something, oh, thanks Anita, I'm excited about it too. Um, I, um, I trace it out, it's an old trick I learned in art school, and I, I print out the image of what I'm, oh, that's not the right one. <laughs> Here, I, I couldn't decide between painting Frankie full full body or just his head but I love I love his bangs so I decided to go closer in on his face good morning to Australia hi Roberta so I take this I mean and then I take a piece of tracing paper and I trace it so I have so that I'm sure that when I'm doing something that all the parts are where they belong and then I transfer it onto my board so here's my board and you can see it's on there. That tracing is on there. So when I go into doing this, I don't have to worry that I don't have the eyes in the right place or any of the parts. Like it'll get covered a little bit. It still will have its own, you know, style and feel. It won't look just like the photograph by any means. But when I'm working on it, I don't worry that I'm not going to have the eyes in the right place. Um, in this situation, it's not a big deal. But like if I'm doing a pet portrait, good morning, Emily. Um, and I have to make sure it's going to look like the actual, um, animal. It just gives me so much more confidence that I know I have things in the right place because I did a, a portrait of a little boy a couple years ago and it was his face. It was really one of the most challenging commissions I've ever had and they weren't happy with it, which was awful. And I came back and I put my tracing back over to make sure. And I think I had, his head was off by like, a 32nd of an inch in height which made his face look wider just that little bit of a difference oh thanks em <laughs> so anyway here we go i'm gonna turn this around and i got this new fancy light it reminds me of the light i had in college so let me turn it on so the light is a round phone lost it correctly so I think it's pretty cool. I think I'm going to be able to, well, pros and cons here. It's still going to be in front of me, but hopefully you'll be able to see better. So I'm not sure if there's going to be too much light here. Oh, I see the light ring now. Oh, I don't like when that happened. Oh, well, gosh, I thought that this would solve that. I usually have these other lights. I have three of them here that I try to move around. We still see the light ring. Maybe if I put it right there, it won't bother it so much. Or I could move this forward. Sorry for this adjustment time. Does that bother you? Let me turn the light off. What do you think? On or off? Should I just leave it off? Oh, here I thought I found this fancy thing and I wasn't going to have the light ring, but I still do. Yeah, it's just like my light I had in college. It has the springs on it and the little light moves up and down. I actually still use the same light um, at my office on my drawing table. I still have my college drawing table and my college light. And I use it regularly. From back in the day when we did everything by hand, which I loved. 
instead of spending the whole day on the computer. And I love being on the computer too, don't get me wrong, but I love, oh, still a little squeezed here, can't get around. Okay, now I can't see very well. Maybe this is not a good thing. Well, we'll try it this time. So how is everybody? What's new? What did I miss last week? Everybody paint without me? Um, I have all my paints out. I painted a little bit yesterday. I did a dog commission, which turned out really cool. But I, uh, my paints could be a little bit dry. I'm still going to try and go in here with, um, the darker colors. So when I was drawing Frankie, I never realized this subtle detail, this, this side of his face, he almost looks like he has a tumor. See how that sticks out on that side and it's thin on this side. So I hope everything's okay. Do you guys ever see my stories when I go? for a walk and say hello to Frankie. <clears throat> he has so much attitude I love and personality. They brought um, his friend Homer passed away and he was so upset and distraught that they, the owner got some um, other animals to keep him company. And for now it's doing anything but Frankie is not happy about his new friends at all. So now there are three horses and um, they're very sassy horses, and Frankie is not pleased that they're there. If we go there with treats and walk up there and the horses are there, Frankie just kind of goes, Ugh, and walks away. Like, I can't be bothered with them. I don't even care about treats. I'd rather not have them near me, which is so funny. So what's new with everybody? Do you want to put in here where everyone's from? Oh, oil or acrylic. Today, Sue, I'm um, using oils. It's brighter off. Okay, good, Sandy. Thank you. Oh, I didn't see all your comments. Sorry. I hate when it doesn't scroll and I forget to check. I just figure you're not talking to me. I <laughs> don't look. Uh, yeah, I agree. I think it'll be good for when I'm painting by myself, but not for for this. I think it's one of the, it's, you know, one of those ring lights that... Um, Maybe would make me look better. I don't know. <laughs> Boca Raton, Florida. Is it beautiful there, Sue? So. Sounds lovely. I feel like I've, you know, totally was out of the loop last week. We were on vacation in Rehoboth, Delaware. And I do feel like it was totally COVID friendly because I felt like nothing was open. We only ate out a couple of times we mostly ate in um and the times we did eat out we were outside I felt like I just really didn't even see a lot of people like I exercised more which was great um but it was uh I felt like we were still quarantined there completely our kids did come for a couple of days in the beginning, and then we had neighbors and family also there for a good bit of the week, but it was only really busy the first couple of days that we were there. My son, who lives in Baltimore, and his girlfriend were there, and my daughter, Emily, who might still be on here, although she's probably at work. Emily, are you still watching? Good morning. Hi, Jessica. Um, yeah, so I feel like I left life for a little bit, but you know, it's always a mixed blessing when that happens because you come back and you have more to do than, you know, just taking that week off doesn't mean that life, everything else stopped in life. You know, it's still busier than ever, really, to come back, but that's all right. The break is well worth it. <clears throat> Have you guys gone on any of your regular vacations this year? Or have you um, truly staycationed the whole time? I am totally getting used to being home. Hi, 
Shannon. How are you? Staying home. Yeah, instead of going on vacation. It was very different. I mean, we cooked in like every night. Sue said, I have to run, but love what you're painting. Check back. Okay, good, Sue. Have a great day. Painting a lot. That's wonderful. Allie, no vacation this year. Yeah, it's just so different. Now they're busy deciding what to do about the school year. My daughter's going to be a senior, so she really wants to go back, so... We'll see what happens. You know, we have no control over it, but no. It stinks to have to miss out on your senior year of high school. I mean, for anyone it stinks, but I, somehow that's even worse, I think. I love Frankie's bangs. He got his hair cut. I'm sure he was really hot. I mean, it seemed incredible. When we had that hot weather, had it, well, I guess it's really still happening. Everybody okay after the storm that we had? Ours kind of blew through pretty gently yesterday. At least I didn't notice it very much because I was working, but didn't seem terrible but our neighbors my friend Emerson is in Ocean City Maryland on vacation and they really got hit hard there Frankie looks great already thank you Rosemary he's so handsome love how much personality he has I swear he knows me. He knows if we don't come. I could be wrong, but there are times when he's in the backfield and can't get to us fast enough because it takes him forever to walk over to us if we're far away. Lots of trees down in Connecticut and thousands with no power. Oh, still, Sandy. I don't have the internet from the storm. Oh, you still don't, Allie. Or you just didn't yesterday. You still don't. Yeah, I know New Jersey... Um, Mike's cousin lives there, and uh, I don't know if they lost power or not now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, we didn't lose any power here. We rarely lose power here. But it was, you know, it was nice. I got to go for my walk yesterday afternoon. I never thought that would happen. Oh, this rosemary it's sap green. I bought a new sap green. I was watching someone do a video the other day. Uh, now I can't remember who it was. Shoot, because I would love to give her credit because she told me about the sap green. I'm looking for it here in my bin, and it's a darker sap. It's um, Michael Harding. And it's permanent sap green. And I like it. It's it's darker than the Windsor Newton green. Because sometimes I have trouble getting my greens dark enough. And I've been trying to experiment a little bit more in using different greens or mixing my own greens. But this seems to be a little bit of a blessing here because it's much darker. So when I want dark areas, I can do it quickly. It's nice, right? And then I have this other fun green that's um, that I always like to add in. This um, Rembrandt's, um, it's called Transparent Yellow Green. That's a nice color too. Oh, do you have a lot of glare on there? Is that better? Here I always think it's so dark here, but I think the dark might actually be benefit for seeing, not having any glare, right?
I wrote yesterday about um, kind of having sea legs after coming back from vacation. You know, you'd think that you'd, you know, not forget a thing about painting or not lose confidence to only be gone for one week, which is nothing. But um, I, I thought it was like driving a car. You know how when you're on vacation and you don't drive your car for a, an entire week and you get back in to drive, you almost f think you'll forget how to do it. It feels weird. I felt that way a little bit about coming back into painting, which is crazy. But how I felt um, like I kind of had to you know warm up I guess re-warm up that's why I think it's so important to if you can to do something creative every day so that you never like um, feel like that so that you it's just something you just do like making dinner or whatever something you do every day so you don't have to back into it. I really did want to do more stuff at the beach, but I didn't have time. Somehow the time just slipped through my fingers. That's how it's supposed to be, I guess. Um, so I'm just doing what I normally do. I'm mapping out where things go. Give myself the confidence that I'm going to have things positioned correctly-ish. Now I feel like the radio is loud. Let me turn that down. It's a good beginning, right? No, I'm going to turn the radio down. I felt like I couldn't hear it at all in the beginning, and now it's too loud. Excuse me. I wish I could play music louder. It helps me paint. Gives me something else to focus on, I guess. All right, so... out a couple areas here and then I'll do my um oh good Sandy thank you I guess I could have left it that way so is everyone having a good summer or having um you know, it's season here for corn and tomatoes and all the wonderful foods. It's my favorite time of eating. As peaches are in season. I need to go get some. Since Ellen says it's inspiring to paint beautiful music for me too. Yes, it, it is so nice. How are you, Ellen? Yeah, I just canceled my um, workshop. I was going to do a workshop in New Hope, and I kept postponing it and postponing it, so I finally reimbursed everyone because I keep worrying about it, and I'm trying to only, you know, trying to do things that are positive, and, like, I felt like it was a drain on me because I kept trying to decide what I should do and not being sure, and then... I'm getting out some of my pigment sticks. That's what you hear me rooting around doing here. It's in the middle of the winter there. Wow. Summer is too humid to enjoy. This has been the warmest summer I think that I can ever remember. 
It has been crazy hot. I mean, when we were at the beach, it was in the high 90s every day. It was hot. Maybe Frankie needs a little pink. Do you think Frankie needs a little pink somewhere in there? I love the unexpected colors. I can't find my fun bright greenish color that I adore, but I have this other one that's similar. So I'm just gonna go with that. Maybe that's what's meant to be. I found this one, this one's pretty fun. This is um, cobalt teal. Maybe it is the same color, I don't know. Yeah, it's been in the 90s here. It's crazy hot this year. It's neat. The teal and that kind of goldish color is gorgeous together. If I need more of that or not. Those fun little colors are fun. I find classical music to be soothing. I should try classical music. I do like most every kind of music. And I love having, we have Alexa and Siri both at our house. And it is nice just to be able to speak out loud and have it come on. I do love that. Frankie likes this, huh? Mm -hmm. So I've been busy with my um, working on my online course and preparing for that, which has been fun. And now I just started thinking about my calendar for this year. I was thinking about not doing one, but then I really should. I love doing the calendar. It's a nice combination of what I love to do of graphic design and of painting. <clears throat> so I really have to start thinking about that <coughs> next. And Christmas ornaments. Like that whole next part of life's going to get busy soon, right in the middle of doing launching my course. So. It's going to be crazy for a while, I think. No time to be bored, right? It's hard when this gets quite down here in the bottom. All right. I think that's a good start. Does it look whimsical enough? Oh, thank you, Anita. I will. I'm going to work on the calendar. Yeah, every year I think I should have done that in April, but I really didn't have time in April <clears throat> to start thinking about it. But I sold several of my paintings from my recent launch of my abundance collection, so I'm packing those up to ship out and my work's been really busy too it's good okay now it's time to mix some colors let me turn it down this way let's see if I can get you closer and this is my other light that's reflecting down there I'll turn that a little bit is that good or is it too dark I have a lot of lighting issues. <clears throat> All right, keep my face over here. Now where is my palette knife? That's not it. Now look at these cute little stickers I buy. I got, sometimes I buy the most random things. I got these stickers from a website where I got some washi tape. And I just thought they were the cutest little things. They're itty bitty um, succulent stickers. Uh, my little friend Emerson comes over, we could stick them places. Like, look at that little itty bitty one. Isn't that adorable? 
I love them. Now I have to get them back in the box. That was a total off task thing. Oops, and I got paint on that one, so I'll leave that one out. Get oil paint on them, you can't put them back in the can. And look at this adorable little box. It'd be fun to make a set of these, like to go with a calendar, wouldn't it? I don't think I'll get that done this year, but maybe sometime. I always buy little random things like that and have it sitting around for inspiration. I'm going to throw that one away because it's paint on it. Okay, so I need greens and browns. I might need to put more brown out here. Get that out of the way. Um, might need some more black too. No, I feel like it's not bright enough. I think I'm going to... Is that okay? I think if I kind of keep my paints up this way, it should be all right. I think I need black. <clears throat> Way too many paints out. did you get a phone case which phone case did you get I love mine too and my masks I just ordered um for my niece also masks oh they're so fun we wore them at the beach I love to take a picture of yourself in it and send me a picture of your phone case I'd love to see it that's so fun yeah I've been happy with the things that I've gotten from them so far has anyone else? The blue sky one. Cool. Oh, Mary, no, it's just, I've been playing around with this. I have a lighter colored one in New Hope that I need to bring back that I'm going to use. This one has, you know, this big black line in it, but it's, it's actually a, a cutting board that I ordered from Amazon and it seems to be working just fine. It's a little prettier than the, uh, I think it's prettier than that glass that I was on, it's a little bit lighter to, for you guys to see. But I, I need to try out the lighter one. I use the lighter one in my video. That's why I don't have it here. Maybe that's so green looking. Let me put that up here. It is too green. Now I need another brown, I think. <clears throat> trying to learn more about browns. Be a good one to try yellow ochre. I don't do yellow ochre very often, but I know that's a great color. Let's put some of that out. Might be just what I needed. And sorry, my paint's right next to me, my desk here, and I'm just rooting through them. I need to organize them. Oh, look at this fun color. What's this? I always do this. I get caught up in old Holland. Golden green. Let's put a little of that out there, too. Oops, I can't get it open. I thought I had pliers here. Oh, I'm totally off task. Well, let's not do that. We'll do that next time. Okay, let's just work with what we've got. If I need more brown, so I'll get it out later. Now, that's a nice, that's a nice donkey color, isn't it? This, this buff color I'll put in there. It's a little different than my usual pinks that I love to work with. And that's a pretty nice color for, for Frankie's fur. The mixing of colors is such a nice feeling. mix colors all day. I always want to make a whole color chart. Well, I have a few color charts. I want to make more of them. That's nice. Okay. <clears throat> now I have to go. Mm, what do I 
want to add into that to maybe make it cooler or warmer. I think I'm going to add, you know what I don't have out here is um, King's Blue. I might add some King's Blue in. I think I need more of this. I'm running a little low on King's Blue. I need new brushes too. I need a little shopping spree. that down. Let me see if Yep, that's nice too. It's very different mixing browns. Take some of this buff. You guys bored? Are you okay? When you're watching me, I get <clears throat> lost in thought. I'm afraid I'm <clears throat> being boring. <coughs> when when my cap is stuck on an auto, I place it upside down in very hot water. Oh, that's a good idea. <clears throat> I usually use um, um, pliers. I have a little needle nose pliers here. It does the trick, but... I'm not sure where it is. I have all my, um, I've been doing more acrylics lately. So I have acrylic painting stuff here right at my area and oil painting. And it's a little, it's a little crowded to find anything. Um, <clears throat> oh, here they are. Here are my pliers. Which one was I going to open? Oh, it was a green gold color, right? Oops, I never put any pink in there on prank. I forgot. I'm going to add that. Um, oh, this one, but it's probably a lot like, so I just do this, put this plier on here, and, and it opens right up. But we'll put some of that out to play with. Oh, no, that's much, well, it might be similar to that other green gold that I have. We'll see. All right, so those are good. Now I need some greens. All right. I do like this dark permanent sap green is nice. Um, put a little ultramarine blue in there to darken it and maybe just a tad purple. Make it really rich and deep. Maybe Frankie needs to have some purple. What do you think? It'd be kind of fun mix up a little bit. That's kind of an awfully muted green. Let me move that over here. I'm not crazy about that. Like nothing in this um, scene looks muted. So I live in the same town that I grew up in. And um, the house I grew up in is like halfway between where I live and where Frankie lives. <clears throat> oh, my, yeah, it's a piece of marble. And I, yeah, I just got it from Amazon and it's great. It's a nice palette. <clears throat> um, I need a lighter yellow, I think. Let me do a little bit of brilliant yellow light. I like this color. Too late? No, I don't think so. Mix up a smidge of purple just for the fun of it. Or I'll put a little pink in there for Frankie. <clears throat> Doesn't take much purple at all. I'm going to get that. Do I have that buff color out here? I Oh, here it is. Yeah, that's titanium buff. I've been playing around with that instead of using It's like a really, really warm white. Or somewhere in between. So if you want to take a color and <clears throat> change it a little bit, but not add white to it, which often makes it chalky. Oh, I like that color. That's nice, right? I'm going to add a little more 
make a little bit more because I think I'm going to, if I add that in as like a fun highlight um, bonus color, I'll run out quickly. One of my biggest <clears throat> problems is I am <clears throat> so darn conservative with my paint. I never mix up enough. I always wish I would make more. I have a couple large commissions. <clears throat> I have a 36 by 36 that I need to start. And it's going to be an like an abstract floral acrylic. I'm super excited to work on it. And a little intimidated too. But you know how that is. Okay. I think I like that color palette, right? It looks good. Can you see that okay? <clears throat> I'll put you back up here. Let's see the ring there. I don't want you to have to see that. Is that good? <coughs> <clears throat> I need a sip of my coffee. Is everybody having this morning coffee or tea? <clears throat> So I'm going to start, usually when I do animals like this, I start a little bit um, where the eyes are just to make sure I kind of have them where I want them. Yeah, I worked on a beautiful dog yesterday. It was really fun. I don't want to get too lost in the details. Just a little bit that I know where I'm headed with some of the areas. And then I'll... I wanted to add some pink in too. <clears throat> Coffee with coconut milk. Good, Alan. I did my... <clears throat> little diet the other month and I was drinking my coffee with coconut milk but now I'm back to half and half hazelnut creamer that sounds good oops this is crunchy I have to clean these get like a film on them I have to clean it off where else do I want a little pink You would laugh, this thing is too big. I'm gonna have to use a smaller, I can't see around it. What size painting for the dog? It was an eight by eight. <coughs> beautiful dog. <clears throat> it makes it even more fun when you have a beautiful photo to paint from. I mean, you guys all know that. But it was gorgeous painting reference, so it was, it was so fun. I mean, I try to add my own feel to it no matter what, but um, yeah, beautiful reference helps. It's like you can't go wrong. Good morning, Sharon, how are you? I also did a dog portrait for S. Bickmore. She's my niece, Sharon. I did that, I think, before I left for vacation. The hardest part is they take so long to dry. So I always feel like I have to do things like that right away. I feel like it's such a long time to wait to get something because I like feel more comfortable when I let my paintings dry for several weeks before I ship them. That's the best part of acrylics is that, you know, they're dry in no time flat. It's just a completely different way to paint. Oh my gosh, it's late already. I better get moving here. I'm a little behind schedule. It's always a trick to like try to finish in my hour. <clears throat> All right, it means get out the big brush. That is what that means. No fretting over the little stuff. Dive right in. No fear. Confidence, right? Is 
anybody have any plans before the end of the summer doing anything? We have our family crab fest coming up in September. That's something we've done for years since I was young. My dad always loved eating Maryland crabs. And my family still gets together to do it every um, fall. Love those kinds of traditions. I hope we can do it this year. We have it on the calendar, so hopefully it'll happen. But you never know. A lot of like little pieces of stuff in here, I feel like. A little hint of like texture back there. <clears throat> Um, inspiring work and demo, Kim. Thanks. Thank you, Sheila. Thanks. All right, enough fussing with that. <clears throat> Pam. You would laugh at me if you could see me working around. I can hardly see the this uh, light is in my way. I have to look around it to see what I'm doing. good way to work faster is using a bigger brush because um, let me see here Sorry, I get quiet in this part when I have to do a little bit more critical thinking. The bangs are so fun, aren't they? I think. 
<clears throat> Gosh, I don't know how I got so far behind today. I don't know if I'm going to get it finished. Hi, Tina. All right. Um, I just moved a little bit so I can see a little better. I always want to do more impasto painting where it's really thick too, but I don't ever try it because it would take so long to dry. I could leave a little bit on Frankie. Here. It's so much fun. It's like carving it out. Like look how much his nose just pulled out that just from that little those little bits. I need more lights, but I always try to leave my lights toward the end. Looks a little green underneath here. I'm not going to worry about that though. Okay, so that blue by his eye is a little wonky, isn't it? Let me work in there a little bit. I don't want it to be too blue. I like having like little colors showing through, but right here it looked, it was drawing my eye way too much. It's fun adding stuff, but when you can't look away from it, then that's calling, calling too much attention. <clears throat> Oops, I'm getting paint all over my fingers. Okay. I think maybe I'll go in with a little bit smaller brush now. Love that you've only took it with so much color I well the color makes it all the fun so much fun I love it um and it's fun just to add in color randomly and and whoops I didn't mean to do that yeah I always want to experiment with color even more because it's just 
what makes it kind of magical. This is Sometimes, um, you know, more complicated things like this, I have to think a little harder where I'm going. Flowers are a little more forgiving than donkeys, I guess. More light lights. So now I need to look for my lightest areas. Not be too crazy here. Don't mess it up. Oh, this and the hair is wild. And it feels just like it looks. Kind of gross, but not totally gross. How about, um, let me work in those eyes. How much money do I have? A couple more minutes, so. Let me go in here to these eyes a little bit and really dark, dark areas. And something in white showing here. I don't want. He does have a sweet face, doesn't he? Too much paint on my brush. This is the part where I hold my breath while I'm painting. Crazy. Beautiful flowers are more forgiving than donkeys. <laughs> that is an artist quote for sure, Allie. <laughs> so true. That's funny. that I wanted to add in there for a little Frankie fun. Oops. Allie, thanks for suggesting me that I paint Frankie. I think it might be about finished. Do you think I need anything else in here? Can't quite see what's going on behind the... Mm. 
Yeah, the purple was a nice touch too, I think so. Getting a little more lighting, light, light, lights up here. So Frankie got a haircut. It looks a little bit right here where it's that little dark line. It looks like a mohawk. He looks like he got a mohawk. There, I think I'm finished. A little Frankie fun. Okay, so I'm going to sign it and then I'll show it to you up close a little bit better. better so see those details in there love that little tuft on his head so there's my here's my light that's driving me crazy with the my messy studio but there's and there's my palette so there he is so thanks for coming and hanging out with me today it was fun um and hopefully i'll do it again next week if you have any suggestions of anything i should paint let me know so thanks for coming. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. It was fun hanging out with you. Bye, Anita. Thank you. And I'll save this. I'll post it as long as it saves okay. Hopefully it will. So fingers crossed. I think I got paint on my face. Always. <laughs> Bye. Have a good day.